Here we are, it's almost the 4th of July weekend, or maybe you're viewing this during the 4th of July weekend. We've got a three day, no, a four day weekend this year, and so much to celebrate. Let me recommend to you that you take the 4th of July challenge. I'm issuing this challenge to you, and what is the 4th of July challenge? The 4th of July challenge is to spend the entire weekend living an attitude of gratitude. So look around you. Look at all the things for which you have to be thankful for. And there is a lot. There are grocery stores that we have access to. We can go and we can buy anything we need and even things we don't need. We can go shopping at all kinds of stores. We can drive a car. We can travel. As, as we wish. There are a lot of countries that don't even have those rights and freedoms. We have the ability to make decisions for ourselves regarding our own properties. It's amazing all of the freedoms that we do have. And I think a lot of times we, we tend to overlook them because we focus on the bad things that are going on. We focus on the things that we feel are not right about our country, but there's so much that is right. So spend this 4th of July weekend noticing all the things that are right about our country and giving thanks to God. And pause many, many times, constantly throughout the weekend. This is my challenge to you. Not just once, not just twice, but repeatedly throughout the entire weekend. Pause and give thanks to God. And don't just stop there. Mention the things to others that you are grateful for and get them thinking in that same direction. Encourage them to be thankful for all of the gifts and freedoms that we have in this country because there is a lot. And then finally, pause. Pause and think about our founding fathers and all of the sacrifices that they made to create the United States of America to found our country on principles of freedom for all. We the people, we the people, life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, freedom for all, that is the United States. And if we're truly grateful for what we have, we'll be more apt to work harder to keep those freedoms and protect them from being taken away or minimized. Attitude of gratitude. That's the 4th of July challenge. Hey, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this, this video and, and please suggest to others that they tune in and subscribe to. We need to spread the news. I need your help leading the world to Christ through Mary. And this is a great medium to use to reach out to others. MargeFedelin.com. God bless you and hey, happy 4th of July.